Hello everyone, uh, we will be continuing uh, with our sessions on theory of polynomial equation. So today our topic of discussion will be the sign of a quadratic expression. So sign of a quadratic expression is a fairly very conceptual, is a fairly easy concept if you can take it in a graphical way. So I'll be trying to explain you in that way itself. So as we begin, so before we begin our assumption as always, we'll take the quadratic expression ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0 and b and c. Uh, belongs to the set of real numbers and one more example an extra assumption that we'll take over in this case is that we'll assume that alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero and also we'll assume that alpha is less than beta so now let's try to draw, draw the graph so the first condition that we'll try to uh, accomplish is that if a is greater than zero and d is also greater than zero in that case what happens so if a is greater than 0 and d is greater than 0, so basically that means that the curve is opening upwards and since d is greater than 0, that means it intersects the x-axis twice. So the graph will look somewhat like this. If this is the x-axis and this is the curve, then we can say that the point, this point and this point are basically the roots and here we can denote it that alpha and beta. So as you can see over here, if x is greater than beta if x is greater than beta then this portion is basically positive or we can say this is greater than zero now in between alpha and beta if we take x which is lying between alpha and beta then you can see that here the quadratic expression is negative since it is below the x-axis so here we get the quadratic expression is negative or basically less than zero okay and again if x is less than x is lying to the left of um, alpha then we can see that the quadratic expression is positive again so we can write it down as positive or greater than zero so this is the first criteria first condition that we have fulfilled or first condition that we have uh, checked over here explained and in the next um, um, condition that we will again try to uh, understand is that if what happens when a is less than zero and b is greater than zero so basically here also we can see that since a is uh, less than zero so that implies that the curve is opening uh, in the downwards and since d is greater than zero so basically it intersects the x-axis twice so that implies that if this is the x-axis then we have a curve somewhat like this where this point is basically alpha and this point is beta so now as you can see over here if x is to the left of alpha in that case the quadratic expression is negative so that implies that here the quadratic expression is negative or less than g2 okay and now if x lies between alpha and beta you can see here the quadratic expression is positive since it lies above the x-axis so here here and the quantity expression will be positive or we can also say is greater than zero now if x is to the right of beta so as you can see over here here quality expression is again negative or less than zero so this is a, this is the condition that what happens when d is greater than zero and depending upon the value of a whether it is greater than zero or less than zero the sign change occurs so this is one condition that we have checked now we'll move forward to the next condition which will be basically what happens when a is greater than 0 and d is equal to 0. So in that case it is fairly easy concept a is greater than 0 so that means that it is opening upwards and d is equal to 0 so that means it is touching the x-axis. So it will look somewhat like this. So if this is the x-axis then this will be the graph of a x squared plus b x plus c. So as you can see over here, this point will be basically, if d is equal to 0, so that basically means that alpha is equal to beta. So that means that the roots are equal in this case. So we can take this point as x equal to a, or we can also take this x equal to beta. It means the same thing. So that means that if we have the roots, um, if we take a value of x which is to the right of alpha or beta, so that means that this value will be greater than equal to zero since you can see it is moving upward and also if we take a value which is um, 
to the left of alpha and beta in that case also you can see that the quadratic expression will be positive that is greater not positive rather it can be a uh, zero also or uh, i'll not say exactly zero i will say that this is positive the expression will be only uh, equal to zero when x is equal to alpha or beta at this point this point this is equal to zero and in other cases the sign is always positive so this is the uh, basically the concept associated with a greater than zero and this uh, equal to zero the same thing will also happen when we suppose take the condition of a is less than zero and d is equal to zero so here also if this is the x-axis then the curve will touch the y-axis and again go down so this point will be basically the point where alpha is equal to beta and we can take this point as x this will basically be the root so as you can see here if we move to the right of alpha and beta if we take an x which is to the right of alpha and beta then you can see over here that the quadratic expression is negative or less than zero similar case happens when we take x which is to the left of alpha and beta here also the quadratic expression is negative and it is less than zero but if we take at this point where x is equal to alpha or beta in this case this is equal to zero so this is the concept associated with this part so we have uh, learned about how the sine changes occur when d is equal to zero and the value of a changes as a greater than zero and a less than zero so this is the concept associated now well, we will understand a very minor concept that is associated which is what happens when what happens when a is greater than zero and d is less than zero so that basically means um, that a is greater than zero so that means that the parabola is opening upwards and d less than zero basically means that it does not touch the x-axis or neither intersects the x-axis so that means that the curve will look somewhat like this so as you can see over here in any case for any value of x for any value of x the quadratic expression is always positive not equal to zero but always positive and similar case will happen suppose we have the condition that a is less than zero so if a is less than zero and d is also less than zero so that will mean we'll have a curve of this format it will neither touch nor intersect the x-axis so in this case also you will see that the value of the quadratic expression is always negative the sign of the quadratic expression is always negative so basically this is the various concepts these are the various concepts which are associated with the sign of a quadratic expression so in case you have any doubt regarding all of this regarding the same then you can uh, comment in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, Keep looking for more videos like this i'll be publishing this on a regular basis so thank you very much